closely during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another... Yeah, that's what I thought, Lena Nimoy. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. You guys need a recap? There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? <laughs> I say six plus one second. It just said seven there. The game even agrees with me that the 15 plus one is silly. How do you want your name today, Eggs, Josh? Since every day it's different. I like to keep track. Alright, 15 plus 1. York! Francis! Francis! Who are you? That's baby you. It's for the mission. It holds 15 plus 1 knives. Two bathrooms and two sinks? This is a fancy hotel. It's got a sink in here. Is there a sink in here? Oh, you got chipped, dude. At the dollar to save? $35 for crackers? $35 for crackers? $24 for a lot uh, lollipop? How much is a cup of coffee? 40 bucks? I don't know. Oh yeah, roll up those sleeves. Let's get to breakfast. Is everything all right, <laughs> Mr. Morgan? Yes, it's delicious, Polly. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? <laughs> the salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. Yeah, don't you know I that if you're like talking to someone that's not your wife or girlfriend, you have to be at least I twenty feet apart. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Holly, did you see that, Zach? Did you Clear see? A crisp spring morning. F, K, in the coffee. I knew I could count on it. it never fails. <laughs> the smile. Let's get going. The coffee said, "Fuck." Let's have another cup of coffee. C another cup of coffee. Let's have another cup of coffee. I just got money for just listening to the lady talk. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. His mouth looks like a cat. Oh. I really can't seem to find the key. What should I do? The sheriff is gonna be happy. It has a sudden flying squirrel key holding right attached to it. You haven't seen it, right? Oh, I found him. That was easy. Do 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 do. Okay. You found the key. I found the key. I think so. Is this yeah. it? Ah. Ah. You oh. don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian oh. flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep rocking. To shave over the lettuce. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. My brother brought me tacos. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. What Could was the name of the film? Of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? You found the key. I hope so. You found the key. I hope this is the right one. You found the key. 
Is this the one you were looking for? Curvy tailed flying scroll case. There it is. This is it. This has to be it. Here you go, Thomas. You found the key. You found the key. That's the right one. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. See? I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> I love his smile. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. That took like 30 minutes. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Anna Age Graham. 18, she just recently graduated from high school. This City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Biscuit. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. <gasps> mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. I mean, I'm, I'm also like pretty Agent Morgan. partial to a good biscuit. The autopsy's biscuit. ready. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. <laughs> Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. <laughs> What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that <gasps> incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Why not? With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. I agree with him. I don't think there's any reason to apologize. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? Oh, no. There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Yeah, I think so. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Oh, King, okay. King, Rook, Bishop, Knight, Pawn, Queen. King, Rook, Bishop, Knight, Pawn, Queen. I don't know how that solved the puzzle. Is it? Ugh. I do know. That's so. I thought I was hitting it in the order that it said, but. Because I was like, oh, pass is Rook, so that's the second one. George, how about you? I'm very passionate. Yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. 
I'm a very passionate man. George the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. Oh, so you're saying it was George. Tongue. George is the killer. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. You hear that, guys? If you're a passionate man, you probably did it. Most of the details are top secret. Yeah, Nasty's not a passionate lover. Nasty's a very selfish George, lover. Emily, we should be going. Okay, Nasty, this gun has 15 plus 1 bullets in it? That means it has 16 bullets in it, right? <laughs> right, Nasty? I mean, it means it can hold 16 bullets. If it's 15 plus 1 in the chamber, that's 16, right? <laughs> I might be leading the witness, but look, it's important to me. The only reason why it looks like it's leading the witness is because it's right. Too late, I already said it. It's already in the jury's mind. Nah. Nah. He'll come back with an answer proving me of my innocence. You just said I was wrong. Wait. Yes. Look, we're just acting like it's a court case, okay? Look, guys, you guys don't need to bust my balls on this one. Alright, I'll destroy the pipe boxes with the pipe. I thought I was being frugal. Hey, one shot boxes. No, it's two shot boxes. Just like how this gun holds 16 bullets. Your Honor, lying to the jury. No, oh, that's not good. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Ah, oh, for my 6 plus 1 shotgun. <sighs> I mean, at least I now know that uh, destroying boxes are largely pointless. I hate that. I hate that. 15 plus 1 doesn't make any sense. Meow. Yes. They shot you. Yes. Yes. They shot Yes. Girlfriend, yes. Girl, yes. <sighs> All right, don't crash this time. Oh yeah. Oh, he's teabagging me. Let's go bug nuts in my face. 